Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh, well, yes, but isn't that pretty normal? The Academia consumes so many resources each day, everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else? Yeah. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. There's a Kashar Rar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. A dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. And when I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn-out machines. The Kashar Rar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a Matra seal. Why should I bother? Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once, thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? A man named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Possible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. Wait, I know another Matra who works with Taj. I can ask him to let us speak with Taj. As I've already told you, I don't have any way to contact Taj. A few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru City. A group of Aramites? Could Taj really be the one making all the canned knowledge? N no way. Taj is just like Sino. They're considered heroes among the Matra. There is no way that he would... Fine. Looks like there's no other choice. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for all.
So, this is Taj's place. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, what should we do then? Do we break in? No, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. It, did Taj leave in a hurry? Well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. <sighs> You're right. Even if we apply for a warrant now, we won't be able to do anything until tomorrow at the earliest. This is an emergency. I just hope Taj doesn't mind. What's this? It's a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map! Uh, Nabil, can you make any sense of this? Uh, yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These papers look like records. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people, including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, mercenaries. I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. You're right, that's just who he is. As for the map, it appears to indicate the location of the Court of Desolation. Let's take it to Sino and let him decide how to proceed. Taj really has turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts, then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Desolation as we speak. I don't want to suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. Maybe Sino will know what to do. Alright, we'll give these to Sino and see. Let's go! <laughs> It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. So do you think he's the one behind all this? I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons, we have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. That's right. It's clear that he had a hand in this case, yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's also why I need to see him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go.
astrologers must rid themselves of material desires. Only by ridding oneself of clutter can one see the true world around them. Time to go to work. Let's end this now! Try to keep up! Delve into destiny! Gather! We'll meet huh? again. So this is the Court of Desolation. Are there really any treasures buried here? Oh, Paimon's kind of nervous. Could it be dangerous? Don't worry. You'll be safe with me. You shall perish! <sighs> have definitely seen better days. Was there some sort of fight here? Let's keep going and see what we can find.
seem to just... Ah! Propagate! There is no escape! Ah! Nowhere to run! Your sins weigh upon your soul! Guilty! <sighs> Ah, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. <laughs> Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed. But the most important answer still eludes me. Was it all your doing? Smuggling the can to knowledge? The research of the Court of Desolation? <sighs> yes. It was me. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say I've changed. I've become a selfish coward who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh, really? Way I see it, every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? <sighs> Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. My son hated me till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The Court of Desolation. Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. So, did you already find what you needed here? <laughs> See this door behind me? Behind it lies the treasures that I seek. I'm so close, Sino. If only you hadn't arrived now, I could already have... Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see then? No. I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Surely you get it by now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. All right, then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all.
This power is mine. Ha! Illusion shattered. I will Team set Rocket things right no matter what. Decided by destiny. Torn to oblivion. <laughs> As I thought. Your strength. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Chord of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. Even life and death will have no grip on me. Uh-oh. We have to stop this guy! I won't let you open that door. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm afraid it won't be easy to stop me now that you're injured. Or are you ready to sacrifice your life for this?